Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and start talking about Lewis structures. And on our first example, we're gonna be looking at oxygen. Now, first thing we have to do is we have to realize that this subscript is telling me that I have two oxygens. So I know when I'm writing my Lewis structures, I have two oxygens, and each of those oxygens has six valence electrons, because it's in group 16, for a total of 12. So I know that in my Lewis structure, the max number of electrons I can have is 12. Now since there's only two, there's no central atom, so I'm going to write them next to each other. I have oxygen, and I have oxygen. And I'm going to go ahead and bond those guys together. So I know that that took care of, right there, two electrons. So now I went from 10, uh, 12 down to 10. And I'm just going to divide those 10 up and put them on each. Put 5 on each oxygen. So I put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then I check and I make sure that everything has an octet. And I look at this oxygen and I know that it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 electrons. Well, it doesn't have an octet. And this oxygen is the same. So when it doesn't have an octet, we take electrons, two of them specifically, and move them in to make a double bond. Now those oxygens go away, and we're left with a Lewis structure that looks like this. We have oxygen double bonded to oxygen with one, two, three, four electrons on the outside. So we go ahead and check and see if they have an octet and we see that this oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So everybody has an octet and we're out of electrons. So this is the Lewis structure for oxygen. Okay, now let's work another one. We'll take nitrogen, which is N2. Now, what we see here is the subscript tells us that we have nitrogen, and specifically we have two of them. And we know that nitrogen has five valence electrons for a total of 10 in the molecule. So when I set it up, we know that there's no central atom, so therefore we're gonna put nitrogen right next to each other. So we have nitrogen and nitrogen, and we bond them together. Now, that bond took care of two, so now I'm down to eight. And I'm going to split those up between the two and put them around. So I'm going to put four on each. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now, we check and see if we have an octet. And we see that this nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five, six. So it doesn't have an octet. When we don't have an octet, we take two electrons and we put them in the middle to create a double bond. Then we check again and make sure. We have these guys go away on the bottom, so we can't count them. So now we're left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that We don't need seven, we need eight. We need to fill our octet. So we have to fill it, so now we just move in two more electrons to the center and we're going to create a triple bond. And remember that those electrons go away and we'll be left with a Lewis structure that looks like nitrogen triple bonded to nitrogen with a pair of electrons on top and we see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons on both nitrogens which fills the octet. And that's your answer. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and do another example. We are going to do carbon monoxide, so CNO. Okay, when we set it up, we have carbon and oxygen. We have one carbon and one oxygen. And carbon has four valence electrons. Oxygen has six valence electrons, which gives us a total of ten valence electrons to work with. 
So we go ahead and we set it up, and since we only have two, there's not a central atom. We have carbon, oxygen. Go ahead and bond those guys together, and we know that that bond represents two, so we go ahead and take two away, and we get eight. And we'll go ahead and start on the outside, and in this case, there's not really an outside, so I'll just start with oxygen, and I will put my electrons around oxygen. That took care of six. So now I'm down to two. I'm going to put two on carbon. And what we see is we see that oxygen's happy, but um, carbon's not. So remember when one element doesn't have an octet, it's not completely full, we got to share two more electrons by doing a double bond. So we'll take these guys right here, create a double bond right there. And we see that even after we do that and these guys go away, that carbon's still not happy. It only has six valence electrons. So we got to go ahead and take two more and move those guys in and create a triple bond. And it's in this triple bond that we see that oxygen's happy and carbon's happy. Carbon has eight, oxygen has eight. Uh, they're both happy and this would be the Lewis structure. Alright guys, go ahead and move it on to another one. We're going to go ahead and work with, we have sulfur dioxide. Okay, which means that in working this, we have sulfur and oxygen. We have one sulfur and two oxygens, okay, because they're subscripts. We multiply them by their valence electrons. Sulfur has six because it's in group 16. Oxygen has six because it's in group 16, which gives us a total of 18 valence electrons to work with. So we're going to go ahead and set it up. And we're going to put the least electronegative in the middle. Uh, usually it's the one, the guy by himself. So we put sulfur in the middle. And we're going to surround it with some oxygens. And we're going to go ahead and bond those guys together. And those bonds take care of four to a piece. Which brings us down to 14. So we'll go ahead and start with the outside with our electrons. And move inside. So I will put six on each of the oxygens which takes me down to two left and then I'll go ahead and put those since we can't put them on oxygen we'll go ahead and put them on sulfur so we go ahead and we see that that oxygen's happy that oxygen's happy but that sulfur is not so we're going to go ahead and shift some valence electrons around to make a double bond and I'm going to choose these guys right here create a double bond right there and those guys oops, go away and we see that sulfur is now happy because it has eight oxygen has eight oxygen has eight now you could be asking yourself well why didn't I just move these guys over here uh, would it made a difference if I moved those guys or if I moved that to make the double bond and no it wouldn't make a difference this is what we call a resonance structure meaning that uh, the same formula can have do two different Lewis structures and both of them would be correct. And what we see is that they transfer back and forth. Uh, so we'll have a percentage of um, this Lewis structure right here. And then our other percentage, we would have the same amount looking like where we have oxygen double bonded to sulfur, bonded to oxygen we would have a Lewis structure that would look like that. So it's basically the double bonds on the other side. So you'd see it in a percentage of both of them, and both of these would be um, completely correct. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and work another example. Here we have methyl chloride. Okay, and we see that we have um, one carbon, three hydrogens, and one chlorine. Multiply those guys by their valence electrons. Carbon is four, hydrogen is one, chlorine is seven. So it gives us a total of 14. So we go ahead and set these guys up and we're gonna put carbon in the middle because guys remember that carbon always goes in the middle. It's always a central atom. So we have carbon and then we're gonna put the rest of them just around it where we have hydrogen hydrogen, hydrogen, and then chlorine. Now we'll go ahead and bond these guys together 
And remember that each one of those lines represents two, so we just took care of eight. So we are now down to six. And remember that hydrogen follows the duet rule, meaning it only needs two valence electrons. So in looking at these hydrogens, we see that they already have all the electrons that they need. Uh, so we can't add any more to them. We look at carbon, and around it, it has four bonded uh, pairs of atoms around it, so it already has eight, so it can't take any more. So these six have to go on chlorine. So we go ahead and we put those six electrons around chlorine, and it takes us down to zero. And we see that, well, now that we put those pairs around chlorine, chlorine's happy as well. So hydrogen's happy with the duet, carbon and chlorine are happy with their octet, and this would be the Lewis structure for methyl chloride.